Hello everyone and welcome to another Shelf Stuff at Home video with Talia from the Book Talk with Talia series. So in today's episode, I thought it would be very fun to get back to something we're very used to, book talking. We're in the month of May now. I know it's crazy to believe that, but we're in the month of May and there are so many amazing middle grade books coming out this month. And I have a few that have just come out that I thought you might be interested in checking out. So in the next segment, Talia's top five, we're going to go over five of those books. One of the books in my top five is Becoming Brianna by Terry Libinson. So this book takes place in the Emmy and Friends universe, which is the books Invisible Emmy, Positively Izzy, and Just Jamie. And we first met the character of Brie in Invisible Emmy. So this book stars Brie, who isn't really sure that she even wants a bat mitzvah, but her mom kind of convinces her, so she decides, all right, we're gonna have the bat mitzvah. Once they start planning, it's going to take around eight months before the bat mitzvah actually happens. And in those eight months, a lot of stuff happens. Because word gets out around school that Brie is throwing this huge event, a cool girl decides to try and get a little bit closer to Brie, hoping to snag an invitation. So Brie has to deal with this potentially fake friend relationship while her best friend relationship with Emmy is also going a little sour. Meanwhile, Brie's parents keep fighting and she's just so stressed with this bat mitzvah that she's not even sure if it's gonna happen after all. But once they do get there, you'll get to see everything that happens on the big day when Brie is becoming Brianna. And that was Becoming Brianna by Terry Livinson. And this is a graphic novel as well. Another book for my top five is The One and Only Bob by Katherine Applegate. So The One and Only Bob is actually the sequel to The One and Only Ivan, which is going to become a movie later this year. In this book, Bob is now living as a pet at Julia's house and his pals Ivan the Gorilla and Ruby the Elephant live at the zoo. Thankfully, Julia's dad actually works at the zoo, so Julia and Bob are able to go and visit Ivan and Ruby all the time. On one such visit, it turns out that the weather goes absolutely crazy and Bob gets stuck in the middle of a hurricane. This hurricane eventually leads Bob on a dangerous and action-packed adventure to try and find someone from his past. Thankfully, Ivan and Ruby are also able to help Bob with his search and rescue because he would not be able to do it without them. And that was The One and Only Bob by Katherine Applegate. One of my top five is We Dream of Space by Erin Entrada Kelly. So this story takes place in 1986 and follows three alternating viewpoints from three siblings. The siblings' names are Cash, Bird, and Fitch. Cash, Bird, and Fitch are all in seventh grade together, but they're not all the same age. And since it is 1986, all of them are very interested in the launch of the space shuttle Challenger. And although it would be easy to just be in seventh grade, excited about the space shuttle launch, that's not the case. They're all struggling with their own anxieties and problems. Cash is the oldest sibling, but he might be in danger of failing seventh grade for the second time. Cash also loves to play basketball, but he just broke his wrist, so now one of the only things that he loves to do, he can't even do anymore. Meanwhile, Fitch is a 12-year-old, so he is regularly in the seventh grade, and he keeps playing this game down by the arcade. And unfortunately, he has a temper that gets the better of him, and he doesn't even know where it comes from. Bird is also 12, so she and Fitch are twins, and she is super interested in NASA and everything science-related. One day, she really, really wants to work for NASA, but she feels like she's kind of disappearing behind her brothers, and nobody sees her. When the shuttle finally does take off, it's going to change all of the siblings in different ways, but one of the things that's keeping them together right now is looking forward to the shuttle launch. And that was We Dream of Space by Erin Entrada Kelly. One of my top five is One Last Shot by John David Anderson. 
So One Last Shot is a coming of age story about Malcolm who actually gets interested in competitive miniature golf when his parents are at a breaking point in their relationship. Malcolm's dad has always been really into sports, so Malcolm getting into competitive miniature golf is kind of his attempt to appeal to that side of his dad. Malcolm has always kind of felt in the middle of his parents, so he's hoping that by doing this he'll kind of calm everything down. Unfortunately, as the final match of the year gets closer, the tension between Malcolm's parents grows. His parents even start to bring up a history that Malcolm didn't know about their relationship. So it's going to be up to all of the family members to figure out what they can do to piece the family back together. And that was One Last Shot by John David Anderson. And one for my top five is A Ceiling Made of Eggshells by Gail Carson Levine. A Ceiling Made of Eggshells is a coming of age story set in a Jewish community in Spain during the Inquisition. In the book, Seema is a young girl who loves her large family, but when her grandmother unexpectedly passes away, it turns out that Seema's grandfather starts to take notice of her for the first time. Her grandfather starts bringing her along on all of his travels, and at first, Seema loves it. Being with her grandfather, she gets to help other people in the Jewish community all around Spain, she gets to see how other people live, and it seems pretty great, but eventually she starts to realize that her grandfather is never going to want her to leave his side, not even to start her own family someday. And then the worst thing imaginable happens. The Jews of Spain are given a choice. Either they can convert to Christianity and stay in Spain, or they can leave forever. And Seema's gonna have to make a choice. And that was A Ceiling Made of Eggshells by Gail Carson Levine. So thank you all so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you found at least one book for this May that you were super interested in. I personally think all five of these books sound amazing, so it would be great if you checked them all out and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to this Shelf Stuff channel so you don't miss a single one of our videos. We have a bunch of Shelf Stuff at Home videos coming up on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. You can make sure to check us out on Instagram at The Shelf Stuff, and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. I'm really happy to get to talk about books again. I know I've done a couple weird videos here and there, super fun, but just not book talks for a while. So it's always nice to get back into the books and I hope you found some books that you are super interested in checking out for this month. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in another video really, really soon. Thank you. Bye.